Hey, my name is Louise and my channel is Spiral Bright Insight. Um, I hope you like the uh, background. I couldn't resist it today because um, I basically wanted to do a video to talk to you about the Blu-ray. And um, we can call them Blu-ray Soul Group or we can call it um, the Blu-ray Frequency. But it is a frequency that I resonate with and align with very strongly and um, I've been sort of learning about it over the past few years. Um, but I just wanted to come on and basically share what I have discovered and how um, and why I relate to it so strongly. So in case you have not um, come across me before, I am a galactic astrologer and certified quantum soul practitioner so I have worked with Julia Balaz and I um, offer readings to people generally the people or clients who are coming to see me are um, already know or feel that they are um, star seeds and I am able to um, through using their birth chart unlock information about which star systems they are very closely connected to and you know, where they might have had lifetimes on before. So it is amazing work and um, yeah, absolutely loving it. But for today, the Blu-rays. So like I've said, it is, um, some people call them a group of souls. Um, I also really like to think of it as a frequency because, um, you know, as star seeds and I, resonate as a starseed myself I feel that we are bringing through a certain vibration which is needed on the earth at this time so the blue rays um nobody appears to know where they have originally sort of come from or where they are um where they yeah where they belong so to speak um I think it's safe to say um that they are definitely from another um or part of the universe or another universe entirely um and you know it's if you are sort of coming through as a blu-ray that can give you a sense of not really feeling that you sort of have a home to go back to or that you don't really belong anywhere in particular um so they are um so yeah, they're not from anywhere specific, but they use stargates and portals and are extremely good inter intergalactic travelers. Um, so they have been far and wide and they are bringing in this um, very specific and beautiful frequency um, wherever they go. So blue rays um, generally have, obviously they, um, they resonate with the color blue, which is all about communication and the throat chakra. They're also very closely aligned to Archangel Michael, who is all about protection, justice. Um, and um, yeah, they tended to arrive um, into Earth sort of in the, I would say, 1960s. 1970s and 1980s so the majority blue rail ray souls are likely to be currently and i'm recording this in 2022 in their 40s 50s and 60s so for me i am nearly 50 and i am definitely feel that i'm part of this group and um, they came in to um, really infiltrate the system so um, if you're a blu-ray you're going to feel very strongly that you have got a mission although I would say quite often it can be really hard to identify and really pin down what that is but it's a very strong sense and certainly so from my early 20s I would sort of say to myself I've got a really important mission to do here but I didn't know what it was and um, that can cause a lot of frustration um, but it is about um, there's work to do in the human form or as a human before you sort of start to activate your mission. And I speak from experience. So Blu-rays tend to not um, not every time, but they tend to come into families where there's a lot of um, karma or ancestral healing that needs to be done. Um, and, you know, that is basically because they are here to transmute that healing and ancestral karma 
for um, the families and the generations of people that have come before them. They're incredibly good at transmuting energy. They can spot toxic energy um, a mile off. And often um, they will be transmuting energy without actually realizing it. So it's almost like um, at an unconscious level. Um, they are very good at um, sort of adapting and morphing their energy because they're very empathic and they can't sort of feel into situations. They will adjust and adapt their energy to suit the where they are and the people that they're with. And that can um, go as far as taking on the traits or even um, I found when I was younger that I would start copying people's accents when I was talking to them um, and sort of my voice would change. So um, yeah, it's a bit strange, but it's just something that happens um, sort of shape shape shifting that sort of um ability but more in, a, in an energetic way rather than how you actually look um blu-ray souls are incredibly intuitive they're very psychic they are very empathic so they um can really pick up on what's going on around them and if you're looking at astrology and um the charts of blu-rays they're likely to have a lot of water and a lot of earth in their chart OK, and um, because they um, came into families where, you know, there were maybe issues and, um, you know, and pain and heat and trauma that needed to be transmuted and um, they can feel that they don't fit in, um, which is a really key theme. It's actually common for a lot of star seeds because actually newsflash, you don't, you are different. Um, but it can lead to feeling very disempowered. Um, a lot of Blu-rays, I would say, and I speak for myself, experience bullying um, when they're younger because they can't step into their power and other people, because they're shining very brightly, other people see that um, and want to, you know, cut, stamp down on it. So it can, um, you can feel very controlled and very sort of unable to take the lead in earlier in your life. Um, I've already talked about the empathy. So yeah, huge and um, high level of sensitivity, which doesn't um, just relate to the energies. It's also um, sensitive to noise, sensitive to strong smells, sensitive to medication and drugs, sensitive to certain foods and products. Um, you know, you might find as a Blu-ray that, you know, you can't use very strong perfumes or very strong toiletry products and beauty products and um, because your body just does not, um, doesn't get along with it at all. So that, that can cause problems with digestion, with skin. Um, yeah, all sorts of sort of physical ailments can come as a result because, you know, there is an incompatibility with the energy here to where you are most aligned with and that can show up in various physical ways as well um so you may find as a blu-ray that you um find animals are very drawn to you and also children because children you know um can see through and um, you know children don't have any filter um, so you may find that babies in particular that like, can be absolutely mesmerized um and I've certainly found that in the past. Um, you may also find that um, you attract a lot of spirits or entities or lost souls um, to your aura and to your um, being. Um, certainly, when I speak for myself, I can clear energy. And, um, you know, I often find I have to clear energy of, you know, spirits or entities that have um, attached themselves to me. Um, so, um, yeah, that can happen quite a lot. Um, in um, with the blue ray, um, it's very similar to the indigo energy. And if, um, you know, if you're into this sort of work and information, you will have heard of the indigo souls. Um, so while um, they've obviously got a lot of indigo and blue in their aura, I would say the blue rays aren't as militant or as warrior-like as um, the indigos. Um, we know that the indigos are system busters. They came in to change the system and break things down and be the start of that process. Um, but the blue rays tend to, um, they feel very strongly about corruption and injustice and you know what is going on in the world that needs to be um, redressed and undressed, but they are much more reserved and much more quiet and prefer to sort of stand behind the scenes. They certainly 
are unlikely to be, you know, the ones in the protests with the um, the placards shouting out. Um, they are much more um, about sort of working behind the scenes and they much prefer to stay hidden and they more than likely conceal their true selves, um, which I can, yeah, say I can speak for. Um, that's certainly true in my case. Um, so talents, we've already talked about the empathy, the ability to transmute energy, incredibly gifted at communication and expression. Um, and also um, they're you know, fascinated with wisdom and knowledge and they just never want to stop learning. They always want to absorb and find out more. Um, they have access through their sort of more psychic you know in their um contact with their higher self they have access to very high frequency and sacred knowledge which you know is um can be activated at any point um they are very much um wanting to help so service is really really important and they want to um basically fix people if they see that people are unhappy they feel that and they want to change that and make you know try and address it um it can lead to being a little bit um of a people pleaser which you know isn't always great and it can also mean that they struggle with having boundaries um especially you know being able to feel energy it can be a bit tricky um I've already said they're very good with words, they're very gentle energy, they're very loyal, and they have um, a strong link to Lemuria and are likely to have life, had lifetimes there. Um, they are very persistent <laughs> and um, won't give up very easily um, and also very courageous because, you know, it ain't easy coming in um, with that kind of frequency of energy into a 3D world um, where you don't really feel that you fit in, but you have to and you have to try. Um, so the Blu-rays um, are very good at holding space for others. So they may find that other people, you know, share their problems with them without even being invited to do so. They also have no judgment, which is really important because, um, you know, sometimes light workers do um, and they are able to... Um, to an extent sort of transcend the polarity and you know oh you're different from me that that's not um an issue with um blu-rays because we know they know that um nobody is separate that we're all linked and we're all connected and so there is a great sort of um understanding and um respect i guess for each soul and the path that each soul has chosen so, you know, they don't look at um, maybe a lower vibrational soul and think, oh, you know, you're, well, there is no judgment there, basically. Um, so they are here to heal. They're also here to, here to reveal and expose truths. And they're here to teach. They're here to um, inspire and encourage others. Um, and they are here to remember who they are and who we are, which really is the most important um Thing, a mission of all and um, so in a chart and um, I obviously when I'm doing a reading I will look at the soul origin and sometimes and also the soul color and quite often the blue and the blue ray will come up there um, but there are other markers so Alpha Centauri is closely aligned with the blue ray also Nihal in Lepus that is always a really strong marker and Aldebaran um, in uh, which who that, that fixed star, the royal star, is very closely linked to Archangel Michael. So again, that is all also a marker that you may have the Blu-ray in your chart. But certainly, you know, if you've listened this far and what I'm saying resonates with you, um, then chances are that yes, you are a Blu-ray. And um, yeah, how amazing is that? If you want to find out more, if you're interested in having a reading, or um, you know, want to find about, out about your galactic. Um, links connections and lineage then I do offer reading so please do get in touch I've got a website it is spiralbright.co.uk and all the information is on there so thank you so much for listening and um, I hope it was useful and I look forward to sharing information about other star systems and frequencies and soul groups with you very soon thank you